This is the cloud thermometer project. And what this is, is this is a temperature probe that logs to the cloud, specifically Amazon's DynamoDB service. And what this allows you to do is watch the temperature of food that you're cooking from anywhere. So you can watch it from your computer, from a tablet, even from a cell phone, uh, because that data is stored in a database that anything can access. And the inspiration for this were these things. These are just simple probe thermometers. Um, it's just a thermistor inside of a metal probe, and it'll tell you the temperature. Now, there are a couple problems with this. Uh, one is that you actually have to be around to see what the temperature is and uh, be there to hear when the alarm goes off. Uh, the other problem is it doesn't actually give you any kind of feedback or prediction of when it thinks the food might be ready. So if you set a target temperature, you can only see what the current temperature is. So what I've done here is I created something I think helps solve both those problems. And what this is, this is an Arduino, that's an Arduino Nano with a CC3000 wireless networking chip. And so that allows the Arduino to connect my Wi-Fi network. And it's hooked up just to the exact same temperature probe that the probe thermometers use. And every minute the Arduino will read a temperature value from that probe thermometer. And using the CC3000, it will write that data directly to DynamoDB. So there's no intermediate server here. The data is just going straight to the database. And once that data is in the database, you can actually take it and render it in a web page or you know on a client computer app. And what I've done is actually just created a very simple web page that lets me view the data. So you can see here on this tablet, this is the web page. Uh, and it's showing the temperature data that it's reading directly from the database. So there's actually no server that's powering this web page. Everything is just JavaScript code on the web page, and it's querying DynamoDB directly. Um, and you can see it has a few options here. Um, it's going to refresh every minute and pull in new temperature data. It's giving me a prediction to say when it thinks that the food will be at the temperature that I expect. I can set a target temperature here of 160 degrees. Um, and then you can even do things like draw a trend line. Oops. And what that does is that will actually show you where the temperature is heading. So that's what it's using to figure out the estimated finish time. It's just a simple linear trend line with a simple linear regression uh, to compute that value. Um, you can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, you know, just depending on what, what temperature values you like. Uh, and then if you're really crazy too, you can also export the data as CSV. And that's just going to give you a column that has the time and the temperature in Kelvin, because the, the database actually stores temperatures in Kelvin. Uh, so you can take that and load it into R or IPython and pandas and go crazy with it. Um, but this is really just showing you the simple temperature graph here. So you can see over time what the temperature value is from the probe thermometer. And so the great thing with this is I can be anywhere. I can uh, I can be at my computer. I can even put this web page in Amazon S3 and host it publicly, and I can access it from a cell phone anywhere, and I can see what the temperature is. So if I'm cooking like a Thanksgiving turkey, uh, I don't have to worry about what the temperature is. I can even be out shopping for more food and, and check on it. Uh, and the other nice thing is it's actually giving me a prediction here. So it's telling me that uh, it thinks that this is going to be done at a certain time. Uh, and so you can watch and, and see how that changes uh, and, and see once the temperature hits that target. So that's the cloud thermometer project. Uh, you can see it's just very simple Arduino Wi-Fi chip and the probe thermometer. Uh, nice and small, you can power it off of a 9-volt battery. Um, it should last at least a day or so running off of that. And it's really just a good example of data logging in general. So you can use this same type of uh, setup to log any kind of a sensor. Um, you could even extend this by adding even more temperature probes. So you can imagine with a Thanksgiving turkey, you could put a probe inside of the breast and a probe inside of the thigh, and you could see how the, each of those different meats are cooking and uh, if they're at the same temperature or once, once they get to the, the same value that you want. So that and if you're wondering how the roast turned out, it looks great. This is a pork roast that has a simple spice rub just with chili powder, cumin, and paprika. And we can check and see if it's hit the target temperature with another thermometer here. And yep, 160 degrees right on target.